welcome to stasis this is a point and click adventure horror game let's start it without a family man alone in the world trembles with the cold and andre moro The brother presents a Christopher Bischoff game. Neptune. Ryan Cooper. Rebecca McCarthy Will McCabe Gloom Lake is the name of the ship and Misa Kutei Stasis. Music by Mark Morgan. If you like the music, check out Mark Morgan. Additional music by Daniel Sadowski. Creative writing Christopher Dare, Mark O'Dell, Kyle Dunnigan. That's a style of credits at the beginning that's not normal. <laughs> Nowadays, Christopher Dare and Crystal Bischoff did something, but I didn't read the first word. Written by Christopher Bischoff and Nicholas Bischoff. Nowadays the credits come at the end, not at the beginning. Produced by Nicholas Bischoff. Created by Christopher Bischoff. They keep showing the same name, they could have just showed that name once. Ah. Something's happening. I assume we are going out of cryosleep or something like that? Ah. That appears to be us. We had something injected into our spine. And we're coughing loud. Okay. Stasis blood suit. Please hold still while your biometric scans are completed. Staying still, I can do that. Pardonia, multiple fractures along ribs 3, 5, 11, and 14. Extreme muscle atrophy. Danger of heart failure. Danger of pneumothorax. Seek immediate medical attention. Medical data storage is damaged. Formatting quantum storage device. Plug suit quantum storage device is ready for physical record storage. Oh. And now we're going into gameplay. What's that? I think that's a loading icon. Okay, we are John. Left click, right click, no. Fluid, a smeared pool of some dark, sticky, congealed substance. Right click does nothing, left click goes to the fluid. 
Steam. The humid steam gives off a sickly sweet smell as it rises from the glass tube. There's a terminal over there. And a terminal over here. This one seems to be offline. That's a cryo tube, so I was right. A horrifying face is pressed against the glass of the pot, its skin pulled taut over its bones. Another put offline terminal. The contorted body inside this pot is suspended in a thick amber fluid that distorts its features. Subject Jackson P. Batch number 165A7 status. Cryotube malfunction. Please see maintenance. Subject Marashek John. John Marashek. Batch number 165A8. Cryostasis interrupted. Inside this glass tube, a corpse hangs like a grotesque puppet, tangled in the pipes and wires that had once provided life. It is no more than a lifeless husk. Anderson S. Batch number 165A4. Status cryotube malfunction. Please see maintenance. Okay. Uh, this, this isn't my ship. Okay. Ooh, I have an inventory. Tap I E space. Seems not. Can scroll the corners of the screen. Also not with WSD and not the arrow keys. Okay. Operator's share. Well worn. The well worn leather of the share is cracked, showing its age. Screens. The only sound in the room is the hiss of the static from the monitors. Their flickering light illuminates the leather chair, the cracks on its surface evident even beneath the shroud of dust that covers it. Locked door. The white paint has been flaking off for some time, exposing the rusted metal beneath. A red hologram folds silently in the air beside the door, pausing to indicate that the door is locked. <coughs> my, my heart. Please seek immediate medical attention. Okay, going towards the screens. The operator's chair. Okay. And I assume I have to go over here. No. Can we go over there? Can we use the operator's chair? No. Then we have to go to the bottom of the screen, I think. Do we get a scene transition? No. Okay. I think we have to go to our own st uh, stasis terminal. Left click nothing, right click nothing. Okay. Ah! Now the door is opened. And it doesn't show anything anymore. Oh, he opened it for me. Increased heart rate detected. Automated medical care systems are non-functional. Please seek medical attention. <laughs> Nothing here. We have an alarm light. The light pulse in, in waning and warning. Nothing else over here. Spinning fans. The shadows from a slowly spinning fan move lazily across, across the floor gate. And we get loud music warning us that something is happening, but nothing is ha What's that? Okay. That seems to be our inventory, but it is empty. Okay. circulating air through the damp corridor so this has something else to say than the other one okay let's go to the bottom right corner then we are in product storage that's bay one there's also in bay two for other uh, people that are stored 
this goes to the infirmary and the doors open. The screen say, say a bank of static field monitors line the walls that displays all emitting the same dim distorted image. The chair sits vacant. The leather split with wear among, along the seams and rounded edges, corroded padding produced from the tears in the fabric. And the terminus lies dormant, its readout blank. Powered down robotic arm, useless robotic arm sits on the desk. The words holotron projector embossed in metal on this piece of machinery, but the screen is smashed and looks beyond repair. This chair sits vacant as the other one, but this is a product check-in terminal, which is the first thing we can interact with. So we do everything with left click. Seems. Product storage. Product storage checklist. S. Anderson, P. Jackson, C. Peters, and J. Marajek. Anderson is blood type 0, male 30, 36, mining transport orbiting tight and part of a long term terraforming operation, one of 17 stasis pox reserved for Project Kitchen Knife. P. Jackson, AB, plus, male 19. Escape pod from dr down transport between Earth and Mars, one of four stasis pods. We are zero plus blood type, male 38. Our stasis pod was acquired from a personal transport ship intercepted en route to Titan Station as Panzer, one of three stasis pods. And C. Peters uh, was acquired from a returning luxury transport, all hands lost, one of 12 uh, base spots. Okay, so the most interesting thing is that S. Anderson is reserved for Project Kitchen Knife, which is uh, doesn't sound nice at all. Storage notification. In addition to Dr. Essex, we are happy to welcome Sarah Salvatore, the new head nurse of Proto product storage. It was a sad day when nurse Daniels left us for greener pastures and she will be missed. As our cloning facility has been deemed too costly, we are happy to note that project storage has now been upgraded to a level 6 facility. We are now the number one supplier of human specimens to the entire facility. After the unfortunate incident in Product Storage 2, which is locked, we will be undergoing regular upgrades and maintenance, starting with a new lockdown and security system. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. Two weeks ago, a false security lockdown occurred in Product Storages 2 and 3. Kane Corporation has terminated operations on both floors until a cleanup crew can evaluate the situation. We regret to report that 17 crew deaths and the expiration of 12 unopened open products occurred due to the emergency venting procedures. Okay. That doesn't sound nice at all. Let's go to the infirmary. We're too slow. Can we be please move faster? There's blood smear on it. Red blood streaks the floor in a white swath as if someone had been dragged or slowly crawled away. It's hard to tell whether it came from a, or went towards when f came from or went towards the infirmary door. Great. Let's move through. Prip. Light passes through the bars, casting dark shadows on the wall behind. Dark stains smear the bars, but it's otherwise empty. The t a tangle of long discarded and moldering bed lines lies on this infant crib. Great. Stripped down hospital bed sits in the corner, its side rays bent out rather than the head and foot sections broken as if by tremendous force. Several hastily discarded infirmary ward screens. Okay. Incorporation at 
Kane Corporation. The second uh, game is named Kane, so that's uh, interesting. The ventilator sits motionless and unable to sustain life. That's a mechanical ventilator. Interesting. We share an abandoned we share with crumbling leather armrests. An attached tracheotomy tube is encrusted with a greenish brown substance substance that dried up long ago. The darkness congeals into fearsome shapes in the gaps between the bed and the wall. The unwrinkled linen smells faintly of antiseptic. A number of dark stains cover the sheets. Several pieces of surgical equipment have been left on the tray uh, on the side tray table. They are corroded and caked in dry blood. The organic waste bin, the pungent stench of decomposition wafts from the bin main, named uh, marked organic waste. The surgical waste bin appears to be clean and empty. The peeling table label on the side of the empty bin reads "Excess surgical equipment only." This bin, the bin stands empty. It's an empty bin. Let's see what else have we got around here on this side? Okay. Dogmates scan scanner terminal. The computer terminals are covered in a sticky veil of cobwebs and dust, indicating they have not been used in a long time. Okay, this is some sort of scanner. There's also a scanner. This. This is the scanner and this is the terminal for that scanner, okay? This equipment provides a medical diagnosis of a specimen through a non-invasive scanning procedure. Treatment is administered through a nanite solution drug cocktail that is delivered intravenously. Okay. The arm for the automatic robotic surgeon is retracted. The access, access terminal to the robotic surgeon is inactive, it's display black. So there's where we get surgery, there's where we get diagnosed, but we have to... This appears to be an electrical distribution panel for the infirmary power grid. It has numerous circuit bakers for powering systems in the infirmary. And go to it. That's where we go out of it. Okay. I have no idea what they are. Let's click on them. We power the robotic surgeon. Robotics are inactive. Nope. Emergency life support active. Okay. Is this just a sequence puzzle? Emergency. No, we can only activate two, and one of them is this one. This is power. Ah, we can like follow the cables, I think. And the other cable that we want is the dogmate scanner, which should be this one. Scanner active. <laughs> what were the other ones? The other ones we had was life support and robotic surgeon. Okay. The equi this equipment provides. Ah, we have seen that message already. Let's go into the scanner to see what we have. Radioactive. Great. Dogmate scanner active. Multiple injuries detected. Emergency medical kit created. The night solution, anticoagulant, and morphine combination suggested. Thank you for using DocMate systems. Have a nice day.
Okay. Am I better now? Nope. Emergency medical kit draw. The emergency medical kit that sits on the glowing step automatically filled with the required dosage of medication. We will get that. We have an empty uh, syringe and the dog makes systems ma uh, make sure. So we take the syringe and fill it and use it to, to join. Deep breath. But, but dad, Sammy said that if you have bad dreams and you can't wake up that He'll be stuck in them forever. Well, I'll have a good talk to Sandy's parents. But is it true? Becca, don't worry, you won't have any dreams for the entire trip. But if you do, just squeeze Teddy, and I promise they'll go away. Now legs up, lay down. One of three stasis pots they set in my there fire. There you go. Sweet dreams, my girl. No! Wait, sing it. Sing the song. John? Looks like we have a song to sing. Go to sleep, my baby girl, in your warm bed. Soon you will rise again, so drift away, sleepy head. Dream of us, and you will see, monsters can't harm you. Drift away, sleepy head. You know, you could have just told her that we're gonna have so many drugs in our system that we'll barely remember our own names. Uh, yeah. Somehow squeezing Teddy seemed a little more comforting than you'll be in a drug induced coma. We are almost done here. Do I get a Teddy? You, you get a hug. Rebecca? <clears throat> my, my wife? My child? I need to find someone. I need to get out of here. Okay. Vital medical functions have been restored to benchmark levels. Oh, we are faster now. Let's see. Do we need a robotic surgeon? We can go to the terminal. Access surgery locks. Product P cell operator Dr. K. S. Cranial bone extraction for Sigma Labs. What did they do? Okay. Last surgery completed before spec ops surgery lockdown. Product expired during surgery, but bone extraction was successful. Additional notes by Dr. KSS. The neural drill is stuck again. Every time I try to change it, the arm retracts. Please get maintenance down to fix it. Access surgery prep. Please choose the surgery requirement below to extend arm and refit tool. High speed neural uh, drill, organ extraction, skin harvesting, product spinal tagging. What? Notice. 
The arm for the automat automated robotic surgeon is extended. The mechanism that holds the neurodrill in place is unlocked and open. Did we just get something from that? No. I think we need we'll need the neural drill but later. Then we had a third option here. I think activating life support should be a good solution for me because Yeah. It's nice to have life support. Attention. Due to the threat of external contamination, a security lockdown is in order. Please meet at your closest administration office for further instructions. There is something over here. Okay, assume that's the only place that we can go to. We can't do anything else here. I think we did everything at the product check-in terminal, so we are going down here. So interested, what's beyond this door? Ah, uh, we weren't able to do anything in the first few rooms. Okay, this door opens now. Good. Is anyone there? Not a good idea to scream around in a in a horror game, yeah? There was something here. Floor lights. Seems standard for this level. Okay. Nothing here. Door to the maintenance area, but it is locked now. Information terminal, code 5448, level lockdown. We could go through that door. The freight elevator is closed. With a fine layer of dust and leaking oil underneath, the loader appears to have been unused for a long time. Okay. Can we? Yes! Can we, like, have a shortcut for that? No, it's always double click. Okay. You to know. Let's go through this door. Empty. Who needs Fuck, sleep? Just... Where the hell is everyone? Oh, that's creepy, this room. Okay, we have a toilet, we have seating. The seats of the chairs are trapped by the fabric pattern orbit in your stringishville. Who needs sleep? Refreshingly addictive. Yucca Cola by Kane Corporation. The dead tree stands bare in the corner of the room, dried leaves surrounding its base. The bright red mo wall mounted box reads in case of emergency break glass. Flashes of information stream down the wall mounted display. And we have an admin computer awaiting an input from a user. And we have a desktop lamp. An operator's chair. Another one. I'm not going to read every single description, I think. Hey, you. Let's grab you that lamp. And I just put it on. Great. Let's see, can we break this glass box? A note inside the empty emergency box reads, due to budget cuts, the fire axe has been replaced with this note. Have a nice day. SOS. I'm grabbing a glass shard. We have glass shard. Great. Okay, we could go to the admin computer or to the toilets. And okay, 
That's how we end the first episode, and after in the next episode we go for the toilet. See you then. <laughs>